Alright, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Gaumon 1220 drawing tablet. It's going to be a commentary review with footage and a speed draw. Also, I'll have a link in the description to Gaumon's page. This is what the tablet looks like. It's approximately 13 by 8 inches in total. On the left here are the express keys, and the top here is the media bar. This button will go into task view, this button opens task manager, this will minimize all apps, this one opens file explorer, this is the save button, this is basically the open new button, this will lock your PC, if you have a music app open this one will skip and pause through songs, and these ones control the volume. So the buttons on the left here are called express keys. You'll be able to set up hotkeys for them, such as undoing, redoing, zooming in and out, shortcuts to brushes, etc. The first thing you're going to do is order the tablet. Once again, I'll have the link in the description. Then once you get it, it'll come with instructions that'll take you through the process of setting up the tablet. It'll also come with a cord, USB adapters, and the stylus. And luckily it's a simple process, so it's really not that hard to figure out. Next, you'll go to their website and you'll download the installer and the manual. Once you've downloaded the installer, you'll click on it and it'll install the driver. The driver is going to be what you use to set up hotkeys and all that. After you've installed it, the app icon should appear on your desktop. Now this is important. Before you download the installer, you'll want to make sure you uninstall any other tablet software you have on your device. I forgot to do that at first, and I couldn't get the pen pressure or stabilizer to work. But it all worked after I uninstalled the other program and restarted my computer. So if it isn't working, you'll definitely want to make sure you check that out. Now once it's downloaded, you'll click on the icon and it'll take you to this. If it says there's no device connected, you just take the tablet and the cord and then plug it into your device. Then after that, you should be able to use it. So I'm drawing this with the tablet, and it works very smoothly. I get a lot of comments from people who are just starting out learning digital art, and they wonder what tools to use. If you're one of those people, I definitely recommend this tablet to you. It's really easy to set up and figure out, and it's really comfortable to use. And that's pretty much it. Feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments. Thank you, Gaumon, for letting me review this, and thank you for watching.